Love it! Looking at my microphone like it's the camera. Hi everybody, I'm Celestian. Welcome back to Illustrator Fantasies. I need to find my pages so that I can actually finish this thing. Um, let's see what's going on here. I also, before we get started, got echoes and junk. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, that's a little better. I did that, yay, awesome. Um, okay. No, I need to find my pages. So, hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Uh, before we begin, I need to find those things. Um, wow, okay. So, yeah, this past week has been super challenging. Um, well, no, no, that's that's not accurate. It's the past couple of days have been super challenging. Um, I was, why didn't I stream on Friday? Because I had to open on Saturday at my job. So I said, nope, I had energy all week to stream during the week, so that's why I was around so much. And then, this is not working, why is this not working? Um, and then Saturday, I said, well, I'm going to stream on Saturday because I'll be out of, you know, done with work pretty early, come home, get some rest. Oh, that's probably why. Um, come home, get some rest, do all that stuff. And Saturday came around, did not really get any decent sleep the night before, and went to work completely wiped and exhausted, came home, took a bit of a, a small nap thinking, okay, this will be enough to refresh myself. I get to cuddle up with the boyfriend and just kind of do all that. And that just turned into, I I have a headache and I am too pooped to pop, too tired, just way too exhausted to actually sit down and stream. So I said, well, I guess I'm going to have to not stream today too. But I knew I was going to be here today. Um, Sundays I try to set aside as really just a game day. Um, but because I did not do what I wanted to do yesterday, I am here now. We're going to finish up these pages. I'm going to tr figure out why in the world my captions are not working. Okay, so there's that, it's kind of doing its thing. I also got to troubleshoot a couple of things. I did just add the caption overlay to the stream, so I'm trying to make sure that that's working before we start getting into stuff. So bear with me while I get uh, while I get stuff going here. No, that's not it. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Is that working? Does that show up anything? I need to refresh. Is that better? Are we seeing things? I'm not seeing anything. Yes! 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 It works! I love it. Okay, perfect. 
Um, da -da 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 -da. All right, now we need to find where my pages went. I have all of the ones that I completed right here. Where's my other ones? I don't know. So they don't leave this room. And I thought that they were on my board, but they're not. And I'm here in this little pile of papers here. It's a box of trash. I have a box of trash sitting to my left. Um, it's from uh, the delivery of my uh, board and light box. You know what? At least the captions are working. I don't know where my work went. I don't know if it's in here, I don't think. Oh! It is here. Okay. I think I just ended up kind of shuffling them into everything else that was sitting over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's what happened. That's why I couldn't find them. They are here. 
Ah, well, it was a close call. Alright. Shuffling papers. Alright, one thing. You move over there. Notifications and stuff. We found everything. All is right with the world. I am ready to kind of sort of ready to go. Check one last notification here. Come on, thing. All right. So it looks like the captions work perfectly. That's exactly how I would like them to look. I want to I wanted to move them down a little bit, but I guess it's not going to do that. So that's just where they overlay it. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Y'all give me just one quick moment. I need to take a quick BRB and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, we are ready to do things, I really don't want this on, I don't really need that on, uh, what does this look like, I do that, that does nothing, well, not necessarily nothing, it's a little more light to my face, that's not like a spotlight, alright, you are going to hear me mumble a lot. Or read me mumble. I'm sorry, but I do. I mumble. Okay, so for this panel, for this page, excuse me, we are on page 45. Originally, what I wanted to do was. Let's fix the camera, and it just popped. Okay. Need to fix that at some point. Okay, so originally, what this looked like was, you know, the group kind of being shielded from the exploding dragon that they just blew up. Um, instead, I decided to kind of make this page here with kind of a uh, paneled uh, panoramic view. <laughs> so we will start at the bottom, actually, just to show the crater where the dragon once sat
draw some smoke. Lines and we'll do the same thing going up. So it kind of fakes this out and looks almost like it would be a full one page. Uh, splash page but is in fact a splash page that's just divided into three panels uh, I thought it was a cool look so I'm gonna stick with it it's so funny because there is full uh, study and theory about you know composition in comics and you know why certain artists would do uh, the layouts and the pages that they do in that specific way. For me, it's the aesthetics, um, but also the storytelling um, of why I would split my panels up the way that I do or uh, why my certain pages are two-page spreads as opposed to one page or as opposed to being broken down by panels. Um, I think some people, some artists, really do get into the theory of it, uh, some writers perhaps as well, and they consider, um, you know, how the audience, how the reader will actually read the page and how it's meant to be read in a way that makes sense to the story being told. So I look at my pages as really just being like, well, if I were the reader, you know, this is how I would probably read this, which I think is what you're supposed to do. Um, but then I look at, well, if I'm drawing this page, I want it to be fun for me too. But I also want to tell the story right. And I want those big moments where something happens to stand out on their own. But I also want to play around with the views and uh, the different angles and things like that. So I'm, I'm constantly doing all of that. Um, there are also trees Get our trees in the background. I say all that to say that, you know, I really do wish I was, you know, much more keen on the composition theory when it comes to uh, comic layout design. And I feel that as I continue to do this, as I continue to work on my own books, I hope that I'm building that body of skill and knowledge so that I can be that kind of uh, illustrator and artist. For the eraser, I'm going to do this to Obscure some of what's happening with the trees so that we know that the smoke is in the foreground, trees are in the background. Alright. So we have six more pages to do.
that. Eraser, get in here. Hmm. Just had a fun thought. Um, I don't know if I'll actually implement this on the channel. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll call it the, uh, the artist's prayer. It's to basically save us from any uh, post-publish uh, hot takes on our own uh, creations. Let people make up their own minds about what we stand for and enjoy the work that we're creating without us trying to influence uh, the stance that they should take or uh, and put our own views on how things should be. I don't know. I'll think about it some more. Because that probably in itself was a hot take. A fake take, really. Um, but, you know, you never know. You see something like that hanging around. Alright, so that is page 45. Let's move you out of the way. It's mostly in response to uh, not just uh, not just the most recent uh, high profile instances of that happening, but like all of the instances of that happening um, where you know I don't like you you'll see my views in my work. And that's where I want that to stand, and that's where I want that to be seen. But I don't want to make that, uh, I don't want to continuously have, and you'll see it on Twitter as well. Um, I don't want that to be like a, uh, a thing where every time you interact with me about the work that I've created, like if you're enjoying my work, I just want you to enjoy it, get out whatever you feel that you need to get out of it, whatever it's saying to you, then that is what I'm saying. And I don't want to have a conversation about it um, unless you really want to get into that. And I don't want to just announce to an empty room or the entire room as a whole, you know, what this, that, and the other has meant. Um, or what it means actually in my books is like, nope, I create the thing because I'm telling a story because these are the things that are important to me. And if this is what you receive from out of that, and that's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, you can debate that with your friends and your family and anyone else you've shared my work with or anyone else who said, oh, I, you know, I've read this, that, and the other. Um, but... You know, I, I, I'm, I'm personally of the mindset that, nope, I'm shutting up. If I make a mistake, then yes, absolutely, come to me and say, hey, I think how you portrayed this is uh, 
a problem or hey you know I noticed that you know this character said this thing here you know is that your view is that your take and I'll I mean I'll share my opinions but I don't want it to be my opinions influencing your opinion of my work does that make sense so like I said I'll probably avoid as much as possible and I'm not saying that because like oh when I become popular it's like no content like when artists create things people talk and I want people to talk about what they've gotten from it and not so much what they think that I meant by it and again if I said something um, or if I say something I haven't really said anything yet um, in my work that seems a little iffy please let me know and I'll review it, and I'll be like, oh, wow, you're right. Or, hmm, I can see how you can make that conclusion. Because um, I know where I stand on my opinions, and I know what I'm trying to say. But I'm also a new artist. New. Um, I'm also, you know, trying to really get into publishing my own work in any capacity. And so some of the things that and like I don't think that any artist no matter what level they are is exempt from the discourse about what their work says about them and so I want that to be very very clear that you know it's not even just making mistakes it's like no I'm literally doing the best that I can to make sure that as a member of the black community as a member of the queer black community that these are my views and I am making sure that the work that I do, the work that I create and put out into the world does something for other people, uh, something positive for everyone, but especially black queer people. That is my center. That is my perspective. That is how I look at the world because that is who I am. And I want to make sure that anything that I produce, anything that has my name on it, uh, either Illustrator Fantasies or Celestian, uh, Bright Moon, which is, yes, that is my name. Um, that if it's something that I'm endorsing, that I'm co-signing on anyway, it needs to be something that I myself will have no problem with or something that I can say, hmm, yes, I'm thinking about this. So, and like I said, not just because, oh, I got a little fame. No, I'm not famous. I haven't gotten no fame. Like, I love coming here and doing this and being able to talk to you all and having the community built up that, you know, I'm a part of. I didn't build a community. I'm a part of a community. And I love that energy and I love that attention. So I want to make sure that anything that I am saying to the community of which I'm a part, of all of the communities in which I belong, to which I belong, that it's something that people can actually feel good about, that, you know, they don't feel guilty about following me. They're like, yes, this is, this is you know, this is why we like this person. Um, it's, it's funny and it's strange because, you know, just kind of saying it just kind of says, oh, so what are you saying? Are you likely to you know, become problematic later on down the line. It's like, no, that's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I know what happens to people when they do gain a little fame and notoriety. Um, we've seen it time and again. And I'm saying to you as my personal promise to myself, but as well as to you and my community that you can tell me if I make a mistake or if I overstep. Um, like I will receive that and I will do better. Um, and again, it's not just, you know, a warning for you all, like, if I become famous, because that's not why I'm doing this. Like, yes, I'm building a brand. Absolutely. Um, but part of my brand is also, I'm a human resources professional. And, like, I believe in these things, which is why I do them. I believe in social justice. I believe in... Uh, economic justice, educational justice. I believe in those things. I put my energy into them um, in any scale way that I can. And so, as an artist, and seeing other artists who have, you know, kind of developed their own works, I... 
don't want to allow myself to get to the point where you know I'm getting called out because I said something or did something uh, problematic so I'm constantly looking at myself and constantly examining myself for those instances of where I could have said better or where I could have done better because I believe in that I believe in taking those moments to be introspect introspective And I don't think anybody is exempt from that sort of thinking in any capacity. I'm just vocalizing it. Because I know I'm, you know, I've, I've had my share of issues. Man, I can tell you right now, if you knew me back when I was probably in high school or middle school, I was, uh, I was not necessarily the nicest person in the world. <laughs> where I said some pretty not kind things to people. And that's why I believe in kindness as an adult. And, you know, I think it was when I went to college, that's when, you know, I was around other people. I'm like, oh my God, like, I've been a fool. And, you know, now at 30 something years old, I'm still looking at myself and still examining myself and saying, you know, where could I have done better? And knowing that here with Illustrator Fan, it's because I am building a brand, because I am publishing my own work, and because I am developing my own stuff, you know, it, there's going to come a point where my work will be circulated a little more widely than just here on Twitch, than just through, you know, my friends or people that I interact with at local art shows. That is going to happen. And I want to make sure that no matter what level or what stage that I am as an artist, that what I am saying in my art and in public is actually uh, something, there are actually statements that, you know, other people, my audience can actually get behind and understand, especially if they are themselves uh, invested in reforms of justice at every level of society. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to be getting into politics, but, you know, I wanted to be very, very clear that what I say here and what I do here on this channel and beyond are things that I fully believe in to advance the cause of people, the people, all people, to make sure that we do have safe spaces for everyone online and off to make sure that justice real justice is at the forefront of everything we're doing but also for this place to be a place of peace for people to come and maybe not engage with the discourse in any capacity so what i'm saying is i am trying to be very very careful with my messaging um my comics my work my art is all queer and black focused because that is who I am and so that's what you're going to see here regularly every single day that I'm streaming you will see that and we can have conversations and discussions about that um, but most importantly you know it's I want to make it very clear that you know I am also a you know, I'm also a person who is reading and is watching and is listening and is trying to understand the world around him. Especially through media. So, like, I get it. You see something, and this happens to me all the time. You see something uh, online or maybe a movie or... A television show or even some music that you know you encounter and you're just like man if only like I would really get into this but the artist behind this is not a nice person not a good person 
not this is this opinion is not something that I can endorse by listening and supporting it with my own hard-earned dollars and I get that and yes as an artist I long to be that person that people can actually say yes I love his work because of this that and the other and he cultivates and curates a safe space online as well for his community and his followers and I will tell you right now don't tell me oh you never do that we would never be mad at you you will get angry it will happen I will say the wrong thing not intentionally but it will happen because we all in our society have been informed by what we've grown up with and some of those thoughts we never think to challenge them until they have been challenged for us so you know we'll we'll say a thing that we've always believed in and it's like well wait a minute what about this that and the other and i'm that person who when someone presents that to me i'm like oh wow you know what i never thought of it that way and i have to stop and i have to think about it and i have to realize you know that could have gone better but it also could have gone worse and I'm glad someone took the opportunity to educate me on that subject because obviously they didn't have to and I try to do everything I can to say you know what I need to go and search these things out for myself so yes Google is always at my disposal and not just that but you know I'm I'm constantly listening to what people say um, I have been, I mean, let's, let's take it back to what we've just done today. I have always been interested, uh, as you probably know, I put all the, I record these sessions and I put them up on YouTube and it's always, ever since I started doing that, I'm like, oh wow, I did not, I don't have captions available. Where can I find something to put captions on my streams or on my videos so that whenever I am uploading to YouTube, Captions are there. Captions are available for everybody. How can I do that? How can I make that a thing? And it wasn't until today when someone on uh, Twitter had actually mentioned it. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, why did I never think of that? Like, where are people finding uh, captions and stuff? So, you know, it's uh, Miss Ash Rocks on Twitter. She mentioned this. Um about putting captions on your stream and I'm like oh my god you know I thought about it and I just didn't know what what extension people were using to actually do that and didn't even occur to me well just check the extensions dummy so <laughs> I did that and now we have captions so I want to thank Miss Ash Rocks on Twitter for actually uh, calling that out uh, please go follow her on her channel check out what she's doing happy loud gamer I love it so um, you know and that's that's kind of where I sit that is that is the realm that i'm in and you know i'm constantly looking at ways that i can improve myself and my messaging um and so you know i i encourage everyone to do that literally just think differently about your work um and about how you reach people and who you're reaching Alright, that is, that is the big head, the big head talk, um, big thinking, big brain stuff, high level discussion, and you know, there'll probably be more, knowing me. Let's get back to these pages here, because I have talked myself in circles. <laughs> Um, I need her to move over this way. So we're going to do this. And my camera is jacked up or something.
So anyway, hi everybody, how's it going? So, <laughs> for all that thinking and talking, um... I don't even know why I started talking about that, but I guess that's just the way the spirit was moving today on this fine Sunday afternoon. I'm only doing this shape like that for the staff just to get the basic shape of the staff head. that I want her sister to be coming over to her from foreground because of where I had them placed in the previous page they're in different parts of that space. Hey Shmi, how's it going? How you doing today? Alright, Shmi, since you are here, please tell me what you think of the captions that are running right now. If I need to make any adjustments, um, my camera is having issues right now, so that's what I'm dealing with, but I just want to know like what it looks like from a viewer. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, everybody this week. Uh, so I think it was yesterday, Geek's stream, like I got to hang out with Geek in the Pink um, in Overwatch, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then, you know, there was so much going on, hype trains all wild and nilly was crazy. It was, it was such a good time. It was such a really great time. And so actually did end up with a couple of followers from out of that so officially dopey thank you for following hypnotoad thank you for following 
uh, Glitch Llama, thank you for following. And before then, we had Ambro and Ampersander. Guys, thank you so much for following Illustrator Fantasy. It's my channel here. Um, I am hoping to continue everything that I've been doing for the past month, which is working on all of my comics art right here, live on stream. So that's going to be really where the focus of the stream will be. Uh, deeply rooted in my own comics development. So thank you everyone for coming by and seeing the stuff. I'm about to alert because I need to walk to a food, but I need you to know your sketches right now look incredible. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the CC. Good. That is, that's that's all the things. Thank you so much to me. I appreciate it. And definitely lurk on. Have, the, have fun on that uh, walking adventure. Um, I will be here, obviously. Yeah, the, uh, the pages have been looking really, really good. So I'm excited. I'm trying to think of uh, some other fun things that I can add to the channel just to, you know, increase the, uh, not just the longevity of the channel, but also the fun of coming here. Um for people to just kind of enjoy the experience and to be able to do more um, on their own terms and to be able to have that interaction and to influence, with, influence what I'm working on. So that's why we have, um, I've changed a few things. So channel points are called wisdom. So uh, using your wisdom, you can get me to do a quick five minute sketch, which I think is really cool. Um, and also, I'm thinking of some other really fun things that we can use the wisdom to kind of influence and just kind of make a thing happen, so, which I think will be neat. I'm, I'm going to leave it for that. I'm just going to leave it at that. And then hopefully as I continue to brainstorm some things, we'll start to see some more fun things pop up. Alright, uh, what am I working on? What am I doing? I'm on this panel here. Okay. So this panel here is just meant to be pure joy. Sisters come together, hands together, and they're just kind of dancing around in a circle, which I thought was kind of cute. I definitely wanted to have this here. celebratory dance.
this is what I mean when I say that I like to challenge myself. Uh, just kind of add, you know, whatever fun things. Are still holding their weapons, so we gotta account for that here in this scene. But do that. That one down here is kind of awkward, so we'll have her hold that up just a little higher, maybe like right here. Her hand in the background. actually make this panel here just a little more detailed and a little bigger. I want him to actually fill up this panel. His hands are going to have to be a little bigger, as well as this thing, in order for it to be in the right uh, proportion. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, proportion.
place. Let's see if it's there. That is page 46. Next, page 47. Okay, so let me make sure I knew what was happening here. Almost done. Almost done with pencils. So let me see what else I have left. So we have page 47, and then we're gonna jump into 48 to 49. 50 to 51, and then 52 to 53. Didn't I say there were like 55 pages? Oh, no. There's 53 pages of actual story. Um, I think I just have to fill up like 50 something pages or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think I had to like make it a certain number. So, but the great thing about this is that. Um, the last few pages of the book that are not story pages will actually have, you know, some sketch pages maybe, or um, I'll do, I'll throw in the covers for the first books that take up from this, the issue ones that come, that follow from this. So, let's go ahead and finish this up. Ooh, excuse me. Right, here we go with the yawning. Hmm. I was thinking of instead of having both sisters in this panel like the way it's supposed to be, maybe I'll split everybody up. So you have one sister and then uh, the sorcerer here, and then you have shield brother here and the other sister. I don't because right in the next panel they all split off and go their separate ways so maybe I'll just keep it the way I have it here
I mean, I think that would be uh, kind of cool. And you know what, since I'm kind of already thinking about it, maybe I'll just do that. See how that looks. him there instead. We'll just make some adjustments to how the rest of this looks. shield covers up always so much of his body but that's a shield that's what it's supposed to do but trying to draw him is actually super easy because especially when he has a shield because I don't have to draw a whole lot I just say nope there's this whole big shape that's just cut out and all I have to do is just draw part of his body I don't want to make that a habit though <laughs> I have like cat hair crawling over my face right now. Because I probably do.
here. This body still looks like junk. So I'll do my normal trick of just drawing through the. There we go. Now his anatomy looks good. Okay, all right. Now we come to this panel, last panel of page 47. Everybody splits. He's going in the wrong direction. Put his body in first. That leg is like really going places. <laughs>
down at the bottom. Oops, I forget his shield. And down here at the bottom, we have the sisters. Who, looking away, hand in hand. course we'll put in our foliage Say there's a tree right there. We'll draw some roots. Okay. All right, and that is page forty seven. All right, next page. I'm gonna run to the restroom first. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Ready to finish these pages. All right, so that is, we are now on page 48, pages 48 through 49. Go ahead and find where that is. So, uh, something got misnumbered. This is why I thought it was 55 pages. Okay. So this is supposed to be this page here. So it says 50 to 51, that's how I originally numbered it when I was working on my layouts, but I guess I changed some things? I don't know. I will find out when I put all this together. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and recount what we've gotten so far. So, 76, 45, 44, 43, 42, there it is, 41. I thought we were missing page 41. Somehow, 40, 39, 38. Pages upside down. 37 to 36. 36 to 37. 34 to 35. 32 to 33. This way again. Yeah, pages are upside down. I may have just misnumbered something. 31. 30. 29. 28. Uh, and there they are. 27 and 26 were out of order. So 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 20, 21, 18, 19, 16, 16, 17, 15, 14, okay, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4 to 5, 2 to 3, 0 to 1. No, everything's here. We're just misnumbered. In my layouts, they're misnumbered. The pages are fine. So. Okay. We'll, of course, start with the globe. It's the simplest thing in here to do.
No, I don't like where her arm is. Well, I mean, it's not bad. Maybe I can live with it. So I didn't really have, like, you can just see the blobs that I have here for these uh, characters in this scene. So I don't really have a pose set up for them, but... So it really can be anything. for now. Mm, that's that's still awkward. Young Dope 21 thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome to Illustrator Fantasies. I am your host, Celestian, uh, working on the final pencil, the final pages uh, penciling for my comic that I'm working on. I'm trying to get out this year, so you came in at just the right time. How are you today? that pose. Let me do something different. Figure this out. You can't see a thing that I'm doing because the camera isn't even focused on it. Let me move this over so you can actually see what's going on here. Here we go. This is what I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm trying to troubleshoot. Problematic arm, okay. Or jacked up arm, whichever. Writing a comic book story. Ooh, what about? Are you at liberty to share the details? Her back makes it look like she's 
purposely sticking her butt out, which she is not, so let's fix that. That's probably as good as that's gonna get. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this pose. I don't know why. It's just not coming together the way I want it to. So I'll have to figure that out. Right, let's get back over here. We'll deepen the lines here. I was just wondering what your, uh, what the script was that you're writing, like what your story was about. That's all. Yeah, I've, I've had that before. I think sometimes it's Twitch and then sometimes it's our internet. You know, I'll be in the middle of someone's stream and I think I just moved something I did not mean to move. Um, and then things will just kind of go haywire, so. To find ah, no, you get up there. You stay. There you are. Just apparently don't know what you look like. figure out what her crown is supposed to look like at some point. Like I'll, I'll settle on something.
but a guy called Jackson Mitchell, something really tragic happens in the life, it becomes haywire, it becomes an assassin, and he make an eye patch for himself that senses heat, there's someone creeping up on him behind the wolf. Interesting! Nice! So, how far along are you in your script? Page 14 out of 20 or 25. Nice! Moving right along. That's progress. That's exactly what we're always going for. You've started and you've gotten some headway, so excellent. Have you. Uh, so, normally, whenever I'm working on a new story, I go through a lot of false starts. I'm just curious, have you had that? while you're developing your story. It's always fascinating to me how uh, different writers and artists actually get through uh, any roadblocks or, like I said, the false starts that they have while they're working on their stories. It's like I'll have, you know, gone through seven different versions of a story before I find one that I'm actually really happy with. So I'm curious what that was like for you. Or if you even had that happen. It's like this story right here that I'm working on didn't even really come together until I had an idea of who the characters were that I was going to be portraying in this book. There's been some moments where I don't know what to do, like during the fight scenes. The only thing I know going into fight scene is who's winning. That's a, you know, I've been there. <laughs> I have totally been there. Um, I think knowing that information, I can say, okay, I can kind of imagine what I want to have happen. And then there are times when I'm having that moment, I'm like, I can see the end of it but not the beginning. So I usually start with fleshing out whatever I'm seeing. Uh, so one thing I definitely uh, tell, you know, unsolicited advice, start from where you are. So if you have like the end scene or like you know who's winning, start there and then you can kind of backtrack uh, to where everything begins. It's 
totally helped me a whole lot. Um, try to figure out the maneuvering and the positioning. And then once I had that, then I'm like, okay, I can play through it in my head. Like, okay, this is how this should go. This is how this should lead up. It gives me an opportunity to really look at and focus on some other details. So that's helped me out. Maybe it'll help you out too. Like I said, completely unsolicited advice, but that, that's, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> And yeah, when there are like scenes that require a lot of energy and a lot of movement, it definitely gets a little challenging trying to figure out like what's what's happening here, who's doing what. two-page spreads require it. You know, sometimes I think another thing that's also helped out is to really just do like a quick sketch of what it is you're actually envisioning, and then you can always go into the details, you know, through your words, you know, in a literary sense. Continue with the theme of unsolicited advice, of course. was not really meant to be the curve of a butt, but I guess that is exactly what's happening here. about that as I suck at drawing. Well, I mean, you don't have to be good at drawing to sketch out a scene that's helping you tell a story. As long as you're getting down, like if you're writing, like if you're doing a very literary story, sketch out what you need to sketch out because you're the, and I, I don't want to increase the levels of anxiety about drawing, but you're literally going to be the only person who sees that sketch. So as long as it looks the way it needs to look so that it's getting the idea out for you as the writer, then it's doing its job. You're not trying to create a full scene drawing for the sake of something that's not going to be seen as a part of the finished work itself. Go with stick figures. As long as you know who's who, and what's happening in the scene, that's the most important thing because you're going to be describing that scene through words anyway. So it doesn't have to, you know, look like a, a piece of work that's going to be published by itself. It's not, you know, your, your sketch is not really meant for that. It's just to help you write the story. That's why you're going to get an artist to actually do all that. 
but you need to get the story out of your head as much as possible, so you're gonna do the sketch for yourself just to say, hey, this is what I had in mind for this scene. And then you can use that, give that to your artist and say, this is what I was envisioning, turn this into this. And a good artist will take that and say, okay, I know these are what my writer was actually considering. So maybe they'll take those as their constraints or they'll say, hmm, I can actually take this and do something different. Or maybe they're seeing something entirely different, but as long as it's being communicated properly and effectively, because that's what art is, it's about communication, then hey, you've done exactly what you meant to do. I wouldn't worry about your sketch being publishable. Not unless, of course, you plan to add a couple of pages in the book somewhere for your sketches to be, in which case that's all they're meant to be. It's just sketches of the process. Process is not pretty. It's not meant to be, though. So I wouldn't worry about it. can tell you right now there are so many process sketches that I've done that have for good reason not seen the light of day they're just not publishable not something that especially without context All right, so this is pages 48 to 49, that is done. So the next scene, all right, this will be a little easier to do. Pages, so I started, this is the thumbnail for, this is page 50, pages 50 to 51. Hey, Solid, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. So this is, it's numbered pages 52 to 53 here, but this is actually in the book 50 to 51. I don't know how my numbering got off like that. I figure I must be missing a page somewhere, but, or maybe I'm not. How's it going? It is going just fine. I've got some water here. I've got a cupcake that I have yet to dive into. It is carrot cake cupcake, and I don't care what anybody says. Carrot cake is the best cake. Uh, well, it's one of the best cakes. Red velvet is the next one. Just woke up, so yeah. I am finishing up my pencils for this book. Must, must, must finish these pages. Pencils today. Um, afterwards, I don't know what I'm doing So <laughs> today. Um, so I was probably going to load up a game, maybe jump back into uh, Darkest Dungeon. But that'll be after this is done. And it's almost done. I got this page and one more. So in this page here... I literally don't know what I'm doing today. Carrot cake isn't bad at all. Don't say it's not bad. Carrot cake is delicious. Especially with all the icing. Oh my god. I do not need to make a video of you guys seeing me. I don't need to make a video of me sitting here eating food. I'm a mess. Especially if it's like some kind of sweets thing and cakes and... No, I, I can't do that. It's icing everywhere. No, it's really not, but I'm kind of a mess when it comes to eating foods that I think are delicious. I'm just kind of in that moment. So how are you just waking up at 2 in the afternoon, solid? Like, seriously, God's bless you. I can't do it. I need to be up in the morning. Otherwise, that's my entire day is gone. Chips 
round face. Getting all the sleeps I need, and I honestly want more. Didn't sleep till like six, maybe seven. Oh my god! So you went to bed really, really late. How late were you up last night? I know you were already. I think at the time I went to bed, and I was watching you for a while. It was. I think you were pushing eight hours. Did you? Did you? Did you do a twenty-four hour? Like man, y'all. I think the only time I have ever been up like that was I've done not a stream but just like I think it was for Dragon Age 2 just just up. like I wanted to turn the game off but I'm like no this next moment is happening I want to be here for it Welcome back, young dope. Sure, the anatomy is right. Okay, there we go. We have her. 
are surrounded by sages. No, 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 I don't want to do it that way. It's my first comic book, so I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if people will like it or not. I get that. I get that. I'm right there with you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, my first comic book uh, was mm, five or six years ago. And I was kind of off and on afterwards for a while, so not a whole lot in between that. But the first one I said, you know what? This is for me. I want to see if I can do this, if I can make this happen. And I did, and it was great. And, you know, there were a lot of people that were, you know, really, really enjoyed what I had made. So uh, the thing that I, you know, will tell you is if you enjoy it, that enthusiasm carries into it and other people will enjoy it as well. So, you know find the parts about it that you like and make it for yourself make it the thing that you want to read and other people will want to read it too because you're enthusiastic and you've got that energy about it that's really how recommendations work you know you have found a thing or you made a thing that you love and you want to share it with everybody so you start putting it in front of people and you're you're sharing that excitement for it and that you know that excitement is contagious and people are like, oh my God, this is so cool. You know, the story that you've got here, I love it. And, you know, they'll share it with their friends and, you know, it'll just kind of keep going on. So that's what I will say to you. Like, you're afraid people will like it or not. That happens to a lot of writers and a lot of artists. We never know until we actually create the thing how it's going to be received. We can only hope that people will like it enough to come back to us and, and clamor for more like hey wh when's the next installment of this or when are you going to do this or when are you going to do that and then you'll see like oh wow people actually do like this thing what am i doing with my life let me get to work making more of these things but you have to have that enthusiasm in there for yourself and i think that if it's there for you if you're really excited and keen to work on this thing on your story on your comic and like finish it and get it somewhere get it in front of people they're going to understand that your audience will see that and they will love that because again they're like oh my god this is great because you've got that enthusiasm and you're setting up that in their minds that they're going to be seeing something that they're going to enjoy because someone else is enjoying it too And always, you know, kind of something I learned is like, do something that scares you. And, you know, kind of getting this story out. I mean, for me, my story was, I don't know if anybody's going to like what I'm making here, but I'm making it for myself first. Because this is, you know, I've been an artist and I've been creating stories since I was a kid. And I'm going to, you know, see what my work looks like when it's been published. You know, the stories that I really, really love, the, the stories that I've told before that, you know, now I have that opportunity and the resources to get this out in the way that I want to. I want to do that, but I want to make this for myself first. Especially when it's your first, it's, you know, it's, it's especially, uh, nerve wracking. But you know what? I think 
the best reason you can create something and do something is because it's something you want to see. You don't have to worry about your audience um, because you are part of that. You know, you're the creator, but you know, you are the audience as well. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm down here. Like this channel, for instance, I didn't think anybody would watch me, and yet I've got, you know, I hit affiliate. I mean, I've got 63 followers of people who I didn't realize were, you know, interested in my work and, you know, love what I'm doing. Um, there's a handful of people in chat right now just kind of either lurking or actively participating in the discussion. So, I mean, that's, that, that's saying something, you know, so I'd say do it. Just go for it. All right, where are we? We are back here. Just not forget to draw their horns. back in here. So a lot of drawers are really expensive. Some I saw on IG was $100 a page and have 300 followers. Yeah. Well, you're looking at, I mean, I think the point to also remember is that artists are also professionals at what they do. So they're also trying to build their own brand. I think your best bet would be to find, if you're looking actively looking for artists to illustrate your work, is to find artists who are obviously who are First of all, within your budget, um, you should definitely be paying your artists um, whatever you can, but 
you have a budget to maintain as well. So you need to find artists who are actually within that budget. You also need to find artists that you like who, you know, are also just beginning because they're going to be the ones who I think are going to be more interested in growing more with your work. You know, that's it would be an opportunity for them to kind of build for themselves while also helping this, you know, new story come to fruition. So, but like first and foremost, what's your what's your budget? Like how much do you really think that you're going to be able to spend, you know, getting the skills of an artist? And you're going to have to put that in front of them and say, hey, this is what I can offer you. And they're going to have to make that decision if that's something that they want to do, whatever that budget is. So the contract thing, the negotiation, that's going to be a regular back and forth. Um, as long as you are building a career within the comics industry, especially indie comics, if that's something you're interested in doing. You're going to have to learn how to actually come up with that proposal to interest another artist that you're interested in. So I get that. I mean, maybe if you had a friend of yours who was an artist who, you know, would have been, who would be interested in, you know, sharing some of the actual creator credit and responsibilities for bringing the work to life and doing all that stuff. You know, they may be more interested in that as well um, and actually participating in at that level, especially if you're unable to, you know, meet whatever their beginner, their initial rate is. You can usually work something out with people. And obviously, like, don't go with, like, the most expensive artists that you can find just because you like their work. You're going to have to shop around for skills and rates that actually match what you're able to offer them. So this is now pages 50 to 51. Took out a few figures, but in the original thumbnail, she was just there by herself. So we'll stick with that. I want something on her shoulders and I can't figure out what I want there. Like maybe jewelry or something, I don't know. All right, last page that I'm penciling today. See what I'm doing because now the keyboard's in the way. Move you. Okay. We're starting down here this time.
have kind of figures kind of all over the place here. And hmm. Considering that we went really big here for uh, the grand ancestor, Tirana, I think what I just want to do is her eyes. Get the whole face in first. I don't know if I want the whole mouth there. No, I don't. This right here is pages 52 to 53. That is where we finally did it. Actually, I'm gonna do one little thing way back here. Another world there. Maybe another world up there. Draw in the moon there. Maybe another one here. Or two. Do one there. Okay. And there we are. Sweet. Oh, boy. Goodness. 
Pencils are done. Pencils are done. So happy about that. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll be... I'll go in and clean up some of the uh, pencils in there before I start the inking, but I definitely want to start the inking this week. Um, so, well, this coming week. This week. Uh, so, should be doing that tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Provided I'm not completely worn out. So, we're going to just kind of go back over all of our pages. I need a face on her there. Oh, it's all my stuff upside down. I'm just happy that all the pencils are done. Move on with this book. Get into inking, which is going to be super fun, I hope. Because now I really have to think about the details and what's happening on every single panel of the page because it's about to be completely solidified with the inks. I'm just putting everything in order. Guys, like seriously, as I'm going back over all of this, it's just, like I have literally seriously amazed myself with the way everything looks. I started working on this book early this summer, actually. I laid down the, uh, the initial pages because I said I need to publish something this year and this is where I am with publishing something this year and I'm kind of beside myself because it took, you know, maybe a week to actually get the layouts done and then, you know, a couple of weeks technically, but really ever since then, like a month and a half to actually get all these pages penciled. And now here it is. And this is just the pencil part. Like I said, I still have to do inks. get some inks going and then afterwards will be the colors I don't know how long it'll take for the inks to be done um, there's, there's a lot of pages here so um, could take a while could take a while but I, I feel good about starting the inks tomorrow. I say I feel good about that, but like I said, that's really dependent upon my energy levels when I get home from work tomorrow, which is when that's going to start. So let's take a look at, let's consider what my schedule uh, will actually be this week. We are, at my job, we are starting back to college. So there's going to be a lot happening at my store. So I have to, all my energy really is gonna to go towards that beginning of the day. That's what I need, my brush. All my energy is going to that at the beginning of the day. So, and then when I get home, hopefully I'll have energy enough to sit down, turn on the camera and, you know, the captions, man, are really fun. Ashley Biggs. I don't even know what I was trying to say with that. Um, well, my energy's gonna go to that. When I get home, I'll load up the start up. I'll, you know, sit down and I'll be like, can I get through a couple of pages today? Hopefully I can. Now, if I really want to break down what I wanna do, we have 53 pages of story here. Officially 53 pages of story. Um, to sit down. So I need to develop a plan of how I'm going to, you know, actually do all that. Nope, I'm not ending anytime soon. Dope, I'm not ending anytime soon. I have other things that I want to do. So uh, today, Sunday is mainly for games. Um, but because I wasn't streaming yesterday, I said, well, I'll get these pages done today and then we'll jump into some other things. Um, I'm just kind of thinking through my plan right now. We have 
I need to think of how I'm actually going to go about getting all this stuff done. So what I may do, uh, just kind of give myself a break, is probably do, you know, the first half of the two-page spread. So that's there's like 12 two-page spreads in this book. So maybe I'll do the first six tomorrow. And then, I mean, really, I should be seeing where I end up. So maybe I'll do the panel outlines. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll do the two page spreads starting tomorrow we'll get through those first and then we'll go back to everything else just to make sure everything's in there. Um, for now, I need to take a quick break. I have had a lot to drink and I need to have a, 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 a quick, a quick. So give me just a minute. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, good, because I can't find any other people working on comic books that I talk to and I get in the mood to write by watching people. You know what? I feel that because I, I tend to get in those moods myself. So, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, so, the plan, like I said, is to let's go through some of these now and set up what I'm going to be doing every day. Uh, it'll definitely take me a couple of weeks because the inking is... You know, I'll have to go in and clean up a few detail stuff before I can actually start with the inking and actually get in there. And then afterwards, it's just, you know, really copying what I'm doing. So maybe it'll go by pretty fast because I don't have to think my way through the pages. Pages are basically already done. So, all right, I'm putting this aside. This project is done for the day. I am very, very happy. going to put binder clip on it and set it aside into these stuff that I wanted to do today I think I wanted to do um, another ink study today before I actually start with the inking so but of course it's also game day hmm hmm what to do what to do you know what let's just play a game Let's just have game day, be a game day right now. All right, so let me find something fun. 
we have... There you are. We're about to do. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? <laughs> Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch we above have the darkest world. dungeon. Let me I clear out some of this stuff we got here. In that ancient, rumor shadowed manor, patented by decadence and luxury. Okay. We are going to pick up where I left off. Oh look, I can actually see my mouse. Yeah. Um I also want to change around the stream info. 